So what is TorCon all about? It's your average run-of-the-mill hacker conference. You know, just this little thing we do on weekends to keep ourselves amused. Um, no, we are coming at a really good time because we're right smack dab in the middle of our 10th year of doing this. Um, we were at one point in time the largest independent hacker conference out there. Uh, we've been putting together something that's been really unique for a, a long time now. And it's to the point now that there are a lot of other cons that are out there, smaller cons. But again, we've been at this for 10 years. We're, we've got three separate products that we're putting together, not only the San Diego version, we've got the Seattle version. We're also going to do America's first hacking camp, tour camp, coming up uh, in spring of next year. So we've got a lot of really good things going on. Okay, so how did TorCon come to be? Originally, a friend of mine and, and I found out about 2600 Magazine, and so we decided that we um, should start a 2600 meeting in San Diego because we didn't have one, and so um, we threw that together. After a few years, we finally went to our first hacker conference, DEF CON, and uh, we thought it was cool, and you know, we're like, oh, well, we started our own meeting. We could start our own conference, and so uh, we were about 16-year-olds at the 16-year-old at the time, and um, we uh, just threw together a conference and we only had maybe about 45 people that showed up at the first one but uh, we had contests you know like hack, hacking into machines we had some really good speakers and uh, then the next year when we had some more time to develop it we um, you know put a lot more into it got a lot more people and it's just been growing from there so who all is involved in putting this thing together uh, it's pretty much myself uh, George and also uh, Tim and Phil that's the four of us are the main people that kind of do all the pre-planning and then there's also you know about uh, a dozen to 20 people that we usually have just um, you know helping out with uh, staffing and um, running the registration booth and selling things. And okay, then what sets TorCon apart from other hacker cons? Um, this guy right here. <laughs> um, and I say that half joking, but that we're really serious about that. One of the things that I think that people have deliberately said that make us very unique is the fact that we tend to be a lot more academic than a lot of the other cons, and particularly a certain much larger um, cons that are just mayhem and people running around in chaos. Although we know how to have fun here, we've really been calm with the fact that it's much more learning oriented, it's much more about the information. And a lot of that has to do with this guy right here, picking out the talks and selecting the people that are going to be presenting. We get a lot of compliments on our speakers and a lot of compliments on the talks. I think that's one of the things that really makes us stand out from everyone else. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to that? That's, uh, um, yeah, yeah, pretty much uh, a good percentage of the people that come here to the conference uh, regularly speak at other conferences. And so uh, usually the talks are aimed more towards technical people, and, um, and we kind of foster that. You know, pe when people give talks, they don't have to dumb things down and, um, you know, as much as maybe other conferences. And so uh, we just kind of built that reputation where, um, where we, we constantly invite new speakers to come out and they invite their friends. And so it just uh, uh, we try to keep it a bit more technical than other conferences. So what should people expect when they come to TorCon for the first time? A lot of fun um, and a lot of information. Um, sometimes, actually, I've heard the complaint once or twice that we can be a little information heavy. <laughs> there's so many good talks, there's not enough time to see them all and putting one really good talk up against another. But definitely, we do have, we do have the whole weekend event. Uh, if you're more of a corporate-oriented individual, we do have the workshops and the seminars. Seminars are more geared towards the, the corporate client. Those are day-long. Um, two hour long with sessions with yeah. the instructors. It's more of a classroom style. It's a, a lot more intensive of a, uh, of a lecture of an event. And then we have the workshops where it's your hands on, get your hands dirty building things or messing around with things. And so those are definitely something to look forward to. So what does the future hold for TorCon? Um, many, many more of them. <laughs> Ten more of them, hopefully. Um, we have the Seattle conference, which is something that we've just started up. Uh, went through beta two years ago, or I, yeah, I guess the beta two years ago, and the first ru official run this year. That's different than what we're doing here. It's not your traditional con, um, but we've got the San Diego, and then I mentioned the tour camp before that we're going to be doing, and then hopefully many other things on top of that as the years roll by. All right, tour camp. It sounds like a geek lock-in. Maybe you can elaborate. Well, it's definitely something that I think a lot of the American hacking scene is not necessarily familiar with. The Europeans much more so, but this is going to be the first American uh, hacking camp. And we basically get a bunch of hackers, not necessarily out in the deep woods because we still have to have power and internet, but we, we get them outside into kind of a different environment. 
Um, you, you come in, you camp for the duration. Um, we'll be providing things like the food and other necessary items, but it's a chance to kind of get out of the cities, get out of the hotels, get out of the convention centers, and do your thing in an entirely different environment. I mean, who hasn't thought about l at late night sharing code around a campfire? We'll give you the <laughs> chance to actually do that. Sharing both marshmallows and code. So. <laughs> And the other, the other great thing is uh, this year our location um, for, for the conference uh, is actually going to be at a Titan One missile silo up in Washington. And uh, we're really excited about it. It's um, a friend of ours actually owns this missile silo and he's turning it into a data center so we'll have tons of bandwidth. Um, people will actually get to camp out inside and outside of the missile silo. And um, there's just a lot of really cool things that we can do with the space, and we're hoping that people will come in, you know, take charge of different things, start building things, and uh, you know, just putting together workshops where they can work with other people and and build really cool projects and uh, and brainstorm about you know new things that they can work on. So, all right. Well, thanks so much for having us down here and giving us the opportunity to talk to you guys. No, not a problem. Thanks for having us.